What's going on guys? Merry early Christmas to all of my fellow global players. The Christmas campaign has officially begun and there is a lot of great stuff to cover so let's just jump right into it. Here we go. And for some reason they decided to call it the Colorful Christmas Campaign. I'm not really sure how I feel about that name honestly but you know what? We're just gonna let it go. We're just gonna let it go. Colorful Christmas Campaign begins. Various events are here. New SSR hit will make his debut in international versions Dokkan Festival. So yes, he is going to be, at least for the time being, a global exclusive unit. And that feels so good to say, because you know what, we don't get a lot of those. And I am so hyped for this character, man. Like, if you guys don't know what he does, what his super attack looks like, I would recommend you watch my video from yesterday, where I do a full breakdown of this new unit. And he is absolutely amazing. He is so sick, so I can't wait for the banner to drop. Moving on, grab the chance to summon Universe 6's strongest assassin. Yo, I will try my best Bandai, but you know what? You guys will have to bless me a little bit, alright? Just don't shaft me. Please, don't shaft me. I will summon. I will grab the chance to summon for Universe 6's strongest assassin, but don't give me the shaft. Please, I'm begging you, please. <laughs> Moving on, the 24th World Tournament, new Extreme Z Battle and Extreme Z Dokkan Festival will also be available during the campaign period. We'll get to that in a second. On top of that, rank up missions before rank 500 will be added. We'll also talk about that in just a second. Enjoy Dokkan Festival during the holiday season. I love it. All right. Number one, colorful Christmas login bonus. Of course, we always get login bonuses. There is an individual page for the login stuff, so we'll talk more about that over there. Number two, colorful Christmas missions. So complete some missions, get some stones, get some medals, other stuff. Pretty standard, we'll talk more about that on its own page as well. Number three, Dragonstone sale. Now, of course, if you're a free-to-play player, this doesn't apply to you at all, but if you are a pay-to-play player, or if you're a bit of a whale, then you might be excited about this because they look like pretty solid deals to me. Number one, we have five dragon stones at the price of one stone once per day. Of course, it's not a lot of stones at once, but it is a pretty phenomenal deal. So I will be picking that up every single day. And if you are a bit of a pay to play player and you are okay with spending money on stones, I would actually recommend to pick that up every single day as well because like I said, it's a good deal. Number two, we have 12 stones at over 50% discount, three times only. Another solid deal there. I prefer the 32 stone packs, but 12 stones at the price of, or 50% off is not bad. Now the real, the main draw here is the 96 stones for the price of 32 stones. Now for me in Canada, I believe that is around, I, I wanna say like 20 bucks, maybe 16, something between 16 and 20 bucks. If you're in the States, it's probably cheaper. For me, I'm like 20 bucks for 96 stones. That's actually a really solid deal. So I definitely will be picking that up, but that's enough on the Dragonstone sales. Let's move on to some other events that everybody can enjoy. Okay, number four, this ain't it. <laughs> this ain't it when I was talking about other events. Christmas celebration pack. It's gonna be a P-Laughs trophy thing. And uh, I usually tell people to stay away from these because it really, really big ripoffs. They're traps for, they're, they're whale traps essentially. And you know what, I just noticed that the blue Dragonstone is right here. So as predicted, the blue Dragonstone is gonna be locked behind a paywall. So you won't be able to get it unless you actually buy the pack. And I just can't recommend it guys. I don't really even really know what it looks like. I don't know how much it costs, but all I know is it's probably a rip off. And I'm gonna say it right now, stay away from it. Number five, we have, oh, more on the blue Dragonstone. So basically if you buy this pack over here, you get the blue Dragonstone and you get like some characters you can choose from. But the more exciting thing is this number six over here, Christmas select characters arrive for the red Dragonstone number five, or they call it God Dragonstone, but in my mind, it's always gonna be the red Dragonstone. And essentially, you can everybody gets this first of all, it's free to play. Every single person gets it on first login during the event. And uh, you can pick from a pool of like 10 to 15 really good characters. A lot of them have Extreme Z Awakenings. And also, for the first time ever, STR Gogeta is part of this pool and I don't want to like get too excited guys, but I feel like this is a subtle way of them telling us that STR Gogeta is getting Extreme Z Awakening very soon. Don't take my word for it, but I've been predicting this for a while now. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's exciting. That's exciting. So if you guys don't have him for some reason, then he wouldn't be a bad pickup. Number seven, rank up missions added as we just talked about. Now, this is a little bit clickbait in my opinion from Bandai because it ma they make it sound like 
all the new missions we're getting for this new update will give us 120 stones in total, which is not the case. The case is that we're getting we're getting 40 dragon stones for the new missions we're getting between ranks 400 to 500, and the remaining 80 dragon stones that make up that 120 are for ranks 200 to 400, which we already had before this update. So. I don't know, it's 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 a little iffy. It's a little iffy. I don't I don't really know how I feel about this. It's a little bit of like I said, clickbait from Bandai, but it's their game, so I guess they can do what they want. But <laughs> realistically, it's gonna be 40 new stones from the rank up missions we're getting for the Christmas campaign. So just make sure you know that. Number eight, yo, this is this is the main thing. I don't know about you guys, but this is the main thing I'm the most hyped about this new Dokkan Fest with the new hit. He's just He's just so dope. He's just so dope. I can't wait to try to pull him. Fingers crossed. Please let me just get like one copy, Bandai. I just want, I just want one copy, all right? I'm not asking for dupes. I'm not trying to rainbow him. One copy, and I'll be happy. All right, by the way, if you guys don't know, he is the first dual category lead in the game. He leads Universe 6 and Universe Survival Saga, and he provides a very good boost to both of these categories. 170% to all stats for U U6 and 150% to Universe Survival Saga, so he kind of replaces Kieran in a way. And as you can see on the banner, we don't know what exactly what the banner is going to look like, but we now know at least that UI Goku will be guaranteed to be on that banner. And I'm also predicting it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be lit. <laughs> that's that's number one. I predict it's going to be awesome. It's going to be an amazing banner. Very, very fire. And uh, Jiren, I think, should definitely be on there. SSB Vegeta should definitely be on there. As well as uh, we know a new Frost is coming, a new Boda Mageta is coming, and they're both very good units as fillers. And also, if Bandai is feeling nice, they might also throw in AGL Turtles. Now, I know he doesn't fit in with the theme of U6 or Tournament of Power, but he hasn't been on Bandai. On Bandai. He hasn't been on Global ever since. I believe ever since his original Dokkan Fest many, many months ago. He hasn't been in the game on any banner. I'm pretty sure. You could correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure he hasn't come back yet, so... That would be awesome, and uh, let's hope that does happen. Let's hope that does happen, but no guarantees. No guarantees. I'm just saying the banner's going to be great. It's going to be a very, very good banner. Number 9, of course, we have the new Hits Dokkan event to be expected. Uh, number 10, we have these new Extreme Z Battle Challenge Packs, essentially. They're another Pilaf's Trove thing where you can buy tickets for this banner down here for the Easy A Cell. So, spoilers, we're also getting Easy A Cell. <laughs> but, essentially, this banner is going to have the Cell as well as... Um, this Gogeta, and I think something else. There's usually, there's usually three featured units, but I don't remember the third one. But it's fine, it doesn't matter. Um, it's gonna be a fine banner. If you guys are missing Cell or Ink Gogeta, then it's actually not a bad banner to summon on per se, but I don't usually recommend people to summon on these. Number 12, like I said, Easy A Cell. And this guy, like, I'm not gonna go into detail about what his like, Easy A looks like or anything like that, but I can tell you right now that he is an absolute monster. He is so, so good, he does so much damage. Just so much damage, and uh, I can't wait to complete the EZA and fully awaken this guy and run him on my teams because he's gonna do so well, man. Like a great character, really, really great character. Not a bad choice at all for your Red Dragonstone if you're missing him, or even if you even need dupes. Not a bad choice either. So there we have it. EZA Cell is finally coming to global, and I'm definitely gonna stream this. So keep an eye out for that on my channel, and uh, it's gonna be a good time. And even if you don't care as much about the cell as I do, that's still more free dragon stones, that's still more free orbs, more free kais, and nobody can be upset about that, right? Number 13, we have the 24th World Tournament, and this one's gonna be good because, well mainly because of the cell, this new, this reward cell is actually a very, very good extreme support unit, it provides all extreme allies with P plus 2, attack and defense plus 30%, and also... I think he gets an attack buff himself as well, but I could be wrong. But either way, he's a very good support, and I'm probably going to actually try this time to rank up enough, or to be at a high enough rank to get at least one copy of him. Now, I'm not sure if we actually are guaranteed the tournament reward this time around. I know JP has that, where if you complete like some missions, you actually get the reward character, but I don't know if Global has that yet. So if we do, then we're, we're good. We're all probably gonna get him. But if not, then I will have to grind out a little bit. And I'm willing to do it because like I said, I really like this I really like this unit. I think it's a great unit. So we're gonna try our best to get him one way or another. All right, number 14, World Tournament Support Pack up for sale. Um, I Probably another Pilaf Strove thing. And like I said, skip for me. I don't recommend anyone to buy it, but 
it does seem like there's gonna be dragon stones in there so at least that's a good change which is not always the case for a lot of these packs so i guess if you want it for the stones then it might be worth it but it's probably gonna be a bad value pack either way so yeah we're not gonna talk too much about that number 15 um it looks like the lr goku event and also the lr frieza prime battle event are both gonna have their stamina requirements halved which is always a good thing i'm done i'm completely done with both of them i have both of the rainbow so it doesn't really matter to me but if you guys are still in the process of trying to get the lr goku or lr frieza then it's great for you because now it's going to be a lot easier to run the stage more times and get more medals things like that right so not a bad thing at all all right number 16 number 17 number 18 are all returning events we have the universe 6 saga event the rabbit mob <laughs> bizarre rabbit mob event and also the uh adventure gratitude kid goku event so i mean they're fine they're fine but not too exciting to me unfortunately because i'm done all of them and i'm pretty sure they don't really offer me anything that i need right now <laughs> so yeah that's fine number 19 rank exp from quest triple now I'm not going to complain too much about getting boosted rank EXP, but at the same time, it's freaking Christmas, man. Bandai, it's freaking Christmas. Why couldn't you just give us, like, four times? It's been so long since we had four times. I don't remember the last time we had four times. Um, is it quintuple? No, it's uh, quadruple, right? Quadruple rank EXP. Like, number 20, nobody cares. Great sales at Baba Shop, 30% off. Doesn't matter. All right, <laughs> moving on to the login bonus. So, first login is great, 10 Dragon Stones, as well as one Candy Cane of each type, and if you guys don't know what these are, they're really, really good training items. I believe they give 1 million EXP for the specific type of unit, so if you use like a, you know, yellow or physical um, Candy Cane to a, for a physical unit, then they'll get 1 million EXP, and that's really solid, right? And we also get the one Red Dragon Stone that I talked about to choose from that pool of characters, and also this freaking adorable Kid Trunks and my and they basically are like the santa roshi or basically an elder kai but guys don't use them as an elder kai come on we only get one of them first of all we only get one of them and you can use just regular kais instead of these this adorable character that's exclusive for this christmas so don't do it just save them lock them and keep them as a, a collector's item i guess <laughs> but yeah that's 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 essentially what they are i thought they were actually a new unit we can actually play with but Unfortunately, it wasn't the case, but still, it's cool to look at. They have really cool art. I think it's freaking adorable, and uh, I like it. I like it. Okay, so aside from the first login, uh, I believe every single day up until Christmas, we get two stones, and then on... Actually, three stones a day before Christmas Eve, and then on Christmas Eve, we get five stones, as well as the Santa Roshi, and... Uh, oh, I'm skimming over some other stuff, but we got some other good stuff too, man. Icarus is good, we got some Hercule statues, some Sleepy Kais, some Candy Canes, they're all good things. And then from then on, I'm a little bit disappointed from... Basically, after Christmas, we're just getting one Dragon Stone a day, which is a little bit cheap, in my opinion, from Bandai, but maybe they're just holding out for or you know just holding off for the new year's login stuff which is going to be super fire i, I don't know I, I don't really know right now but i am hoping that this is you know a, just a temporary thing and <laughs> for the new year's login we'll get like a crap ton of stones hopefully fingers crossed i don't know moving down here to the red dragonstone pool so i know a lot of people have been asking me i mean i know because they've been asking me um a lot of people have been asking me which which unit they should choose with their red dragonstone right and honestly it's really depends on what you have what you're missing etc but for the time being the ones that have ezas on global are the family kamehameha trio um this uh, sj3 goku this gohan this broly as well as this frieza and the one that will probably get his next eza on global is beerus i think well after the cell right probably beerus followed by kid boo or maybe kid boo and then beerus one or the other and then probably sj3 vegeta and then in janemba now let me tell you right now in janemba is the best eza out of all of these like so far as far as ezas that we know about he has the best eza he he hits so damn hard so freaking hard <laughs> after his eza but the thing is, it's so far away that I don't know if I would recommend people to pick him right now. Like, it could be at least six months or more away. Um, and like I said, this STR Gogeta could be getting his Extreme Z Awakening as well soon, but on JP. And the fact that we have so many other EZAs ahead of him 
means that it's, it might be six to nine months, maybe a year before we get the STR Gogeta EZA. So as amazing as that could be, uh, if you pick him right now, he's probably going to stay in this form for quite some time. So you got to think about that while making your decision. But I mean, in terms of ranking these guys right now, I'd probably go with Janemba number one. Um, hmm. Probably Super Saiyan, either Super Saiyan 3 Goku or, yeah, Super Saiyan 3 Goku or Frieza number two, and then Broly, maybe if you don't have LR Broly and you need him for World Tournament, because he, he is a very good AOE unit for World Tournament, and then after that, probably, uh, I don't know, uh, Tech Beerus has a really good EZA, he has a really, really good EZA, but I think a lot of people already have him, but if you don't, then he wouldn't be a bad pickup right now, because he will get his EZA probably after Cell, and if not, then after Kid Buu, Kid Buu becomes really good for support uh, after his EZA as well, so, not a bad choice, I know I'm not really being helpful per se, but <laughs> what I'm trying to say is they're all good pickups, they're all good pickups for sure, for their own reasons, but um, in Janemba, in my opinion, is the best one to pick and everyone else it's really situational but yeah that's my advice hopefully it helped if not i'm sorry <laughs> um but that's enough talking about the red dragonstone let's move down here to the crystal positions and that's pretty much going to end the video um complete all missions to get up to 35 stones as well as some um, platinum turtle, shell turtle shells uh awakening medals and santa roshis all right so i mean i'm not gonna read all these out but it's it's pretty it's pretty general you want to use X amount of stamina, do X amount of Dokkan events, and also every single day you will get up to two stones for completing all daily missions, which is always good. And that is pretty much it, guys. That's all there is to talk about. Let me see if I missed anything else. I don't think so. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, that is the Christmas campaign. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of it and whether or not you're going to summon for this hit, because I personally will be summoning for sure. I will probably stream it, so make sure you keep an eye out for that stream. Um, I'll schedule it so you guys will see it before it happens, all that stuff. That's going to do it with the video, guys. Hope you guys are excited. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, if you guys like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, if you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But I'm out of here. That's all I'm going to say. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.